Okay, so we'll get started. So this is a meeting of the Rutland Zoning Board of Appeals. Present are Tamika Murphy, Secretary, Chris Senecal, Vice Chair, Robert Paulson, Arthur Wells, Paul Corain, Jacob Morris, and Rick Surrett. First item on the agenda is the continuation of the application and variance for special permit for the cell tower by Blue Sky Towers. Um, the, the applicant had suggested that we continue the meeting that was scheduled for tonight because the balloon test had to be postponed <coughs> due to wind and they also need a little more time to do photo simulations. So we have um, tentatively agreed to schedule this to January 12th, a subject to a vote of the board. Yes, we have to vote to continue it and then another vote for the final action deadline. To extend that as well. To the, the March deadline? Yes. Okay. Yep, so okay. Separate All right. So, so we need we we need a motion to a motion to continue to continue to January twelfth. Second. All right. Um, I think we can do this together. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right. And um, as you probably most of you know, well, you all know on a special permit. It's our clock starts 90 days from when we finish the public hearing. We're not finished with the public hearing, so the clock hasn't started on the special permit. However, there's a 100-day clock, which are, it's already is ticking on the variance for the height of the cell tower. So we need to extend that. So Tamika is, is prepared. I, has, has Attorney Klasnick already, already uh, yes. signed that? Yes, yep, he signed the form already. All right, okay. So he, there's agreement to extend it another 90 days from like very recently. So it goes to, it ends up on March 8th. Correct. So we think that'll, that'll give us plenty of time to work with and we can extend it again if we have to. So we, we need a motion to. I'll make a motion to extend, extend the variance till March 8th or the extra 90 days. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, great. Is that, could that work for you, Tamika? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so the next item on the agenda is revision of the fee schedule. Um, I think everybody got the memo. It was a comprehensive memo from Dave George, and he, he compared some other towns and had some suggestions. And so just to expedite things, I, I just did this draft proposed fee schedule, and if, if I made an error, it was, on the, it was towards uh, <coughs> making sure that we covered our costs. And I, Chris, I, I, I know you, you had some real world concerns because you, you, you I, I saw, I mean, I, I was thinking of like kind of a variable thing. Yeah. And the only thing, like, I like this, what you did personally. The only thing I would say is like on the residential variance, yeah. do we want to have something like, like for a shed, like 150? Like what's the minimum cost that we incur for a, you know, if somebody wants to put a shed in me, 250 bucks, not a lot of money just to put a shed in, you know? I was just wondering if we could, if that, yeah. like, I mean, but if you put an addition on your house, you know, and you're spending 50 grand, the 250 is not a big deal. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I know. It so did, it just it's just hard yeah. where you're going to draw uh, that line. I know. Yeah. How, how close is 250 to the line, Tamika? We don't have a lot of fat in there, do we, on 250? No. Um, so right now, a legal ad is $168. However, I have worked with Dave George to figure out how to tear it down while still meeting the requirements. Yeah. So I think I can get that down to as low as $70 to $75. So then the only other real expense that you're looking at is the cost of my time okay. that we would be paying for. Okay. Um, all right. The, the only thing I would say is, Chris, is that... Um, we don't we don't get to decide you know how much it is it, it has to be done at the the town clerk level Tamika's level and clerk in the town clerk and it, it's like is it putting like an onus on you to have to decide well it's this this is a shed it's only 150 I don't if know. I had to guess I think it would have to be something in writing that specifically said like this qualifies for this price yeah. but to be honest, regardless of the project, the cost is going to be the same on our end. Sure. It's not going to change on our end. Okay. And Chris, to your point, you know, I know people, people have turned sheds into pool houses. And, you know, it's like, all right, I'm putting up a shed, and then next thing you know, it's a pool house. Mm -hmm. And it's got, you know, plumbing and heating and whatever else in it. Well, then they have to go get a building permit and everything. Yeah. Doing that. Electrical way. permits we pulled, plumbing would be pulled. 
And I'm just saying for a guy that's just putting a you know thousand dollar shed on the side of his yard and he just needs yeah. a variance. I mean, to pay yeah. two fifty just to put the thing there just seems like a lot of money to me. Yeah. And you know, I know some towns have the the one fifty to two fifty feet. Yeah. And it's determined to the point when they pull the permit and a guy like Dave George or the building inspector. You know, or, or Tamika, whoever that person is, could just say, geez, this is a pretty simple thing. Just yeah, I was 50. thinking about a... You know, just maybe just a variable thing on that one. That's like all. A, a waiver process, but then you don't want to invite yeah. that, you know. That's a long process. Yeah. I, I mean, I think reason can be used here on a small little thing, and whoever, you know, is the person in the town hall could just say, yeah, that's a $150 permit. Give them a little latitude to use. I don't think we're losing money in the buck 50 to 250 that's, that's, that's my only concern. That but whatever, if you guys all want the 250 you know, it is what it is. I agree with the rationale. I just don't. Do we have to list every single thing? No. It's just, it's just some towns, right? It's just 150 to 250. Yeah. And it's, and it's basically when you go there, the person decides. Yeah. Oh. You know, you give the person attitude, they'll say 250. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. I've been there. Well, you know, who guys. makes the decision? <laughs> you or the clerk? So they would be physically handing it to whoever's in the town clerk's office. So ultimately, they're the one that collects the fee at the time yeah. it gets clocked in. Yeah. So it would be up to Anita and Candace. I could see us being very um, unpopular um, <laughs> if if we do if we if we put more work on them. I, don't, I, don't, I hate to be a stick in the mud on this. Yeah, whatever. Say. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. I'll, you know, other I discussion. I've said my piece. Right. I, you know, to Chris's yeah, point to be to not put more work mm -hmm. on them. Would say, uh, all right, a shed. We have to define a shed. Yeah, no power, no no power running to it. A, a an outbuilding with no power running to it, not to exceed uh, ten by twelve or twelve by fourteen or something like that. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, as a matter of fact, right now, so a thousand. What is it? Because I just put a shed on my property, and I did not have to pull a permit because it was under certain square footage. Right. Um, yeah. Well, you don't have to pull a permit, but we're talking about a variance if you're putting it too close to the property. Yeah, but no, but just just for like just to kind of go along with your theme, like yeah. like it was like it's the, it was under the, the amount required for a building permit. Oh, okay. So the building inspector just said, just go ahead and do it. I know what you're doing. I don't need to see it. It's it's you know it's, it's too small. I don't know. I think but I'm anyways. in favor of the uh, kiss principle on this one. That, that that's the uh, that's the only. I mean, I I think your your concerns are really valid, Chris. I just don't know. How workable it is when it, when it actually lands at, at that desk, you know, in town hall, it, you know. But we we could we could talk about it, you know. I, um, I agree that two fifty is a lot of money, but I'm just not sure what we can do about it. The yeah, the, the only thing I was thinking of was that a lot of money for a small is is that, is that that prices are just we're in an upward spiral all around, and I was just trying to be conservative, and I I guess. I guess I wasn't wor really worried about, you know, people coming in and having to take a little more money out of yeah, their pockets. Sure yeah. we had we had one in the last the, yeah, four I mean, years. It's, it's a project. Yeah. Build, build it closer to your house if you want to spend 250 So I, I built a shed like 20 years ago, and uh, I got it from Harry, the permit from Harry Johnson. I figured, <coughs> how's it going to look for a member of the zoning board to build a shed and not get a permit? So I got, I got the permit. Whereas everybody in my my development didn't get one, right. and, 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 he, and he charged me forty dollars, you know. But that was that was a long time ago. Yeah, I I, um, I too twenty years ago. Yeah. But I got the problem. Um, so my my builder who was doing some work on my house just told me with the price of lumber he can build me a new shed for five thousand dollars. <laughs> it's not a small. It's not yeah. the biggest, but it's not the smallest either. And uh, he said, well, I used to be able to do it for twenty five hundred. So how big is yours, Chris? Do you, you know, just uh, just trying to figure that out. Yeah, right. it's ten by twelve. When I got that permit. Well, that was twenty years ago. Yeah, mine's about that. I think mine's ten by twelve. Yeah, yeah. those ones you buy off the side of the road, they bring it. Yeah. Is it fair to say that they wouldn't be coming to us unless they tried to pull a permit? Because they have to have a denial to be able to come to us, right? <coughs> yes. Correct. Yeah. Well. That's fine. Listen, if you guys are all want the two fifty, and that's what it is, that's uh, you know. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm not, that, and I'm not, I'm not because I'm not digging my heels in either. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. So I, I just think Only one what, what's go, what's what go about two hundred? Let's go with a consensus. <laughs> you mean two hundred across the board? Yeah. I I would ask Tamika what she thinks about that. I mean. I think anything's better than one fifty. Yeah, yeah that's all right, but, but if yeah. something costs one sixty-eight to publish it, then it's not. Then two hundred wouldn't be enough. 
Well, I'm hoping to get that cost down to more like 70, 75. So it's definitely going to give us a little bit more wiggle room in there. Um, the hard part is is predicting how much yeah. time I spend on it because it's very different. You know, this is a variance application and has taken a ton of time I versus know. like, yeah. you know, the that's one on Bernard Road with the addition right. is a very quick and easy one. So that's hard to gauge. Well, so I, mean, I leave it at 250. What's that? I leave it at 250. I mean, it just the minimum cost is looking at the minimum cost you're looking at is probably somewhere around one hundred and sixty dollars. By the time you figure to make his time, yeah, you got you know even though it's not coming out of out of our budget, you have the town clerk's time, you have the building inspector's time, because everything's getting denied. Then you you know I mean we're not paid or anything, but they do have to pay the lights. We have the meetings and blah blah blah. This is all expenses that aren't really you know that aren't. Yeah. Figured into the budget of it, but are really there? I I, I agree with it. I agree with, with the amount. I, I I was just making a point that I agree with Chris that it's yeah. it's a lot well, of money for someone who's doing a small project, but that it doesn't mean that it's not reasonable. So I I think it yeah. sounds reasonable. Yeah. It's all within a reasonable range. When I went to the select board to you know talk to them about expanding from three to five on our board, they they really wanted to talk about this and they were very concerned about any money coming out of the general fund. And they also, so they said, I want it done by January 1st, and they want to make sure our costs were covered. So I've, I've just been going along with what Dave and Tamika have been saying. Yeah. So, you know. I'm fine with it. Yeah, I'm fine with it. To Art's point, you don't want a variance, we'll put it close to the house. <laughs> Chris, you can live with that. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, you know, five to one, so it is what it is. Right? Don't matter if I can live I, with it. I didn't know if it was that. I, I can live fine in my house with it. I'm just right. thinking of that small guy that don't make a ton of money. That's, I know. You know, just trying to think of that guy. That's all. I know. For most, like you said, 90% of the people, it's just another 100 bucks. What's the big deal? But yeah. Some people, that is a big deal. That's yeah. All. And you know what? I hate to see government, our own system, taking advantage of those people. That's all. Yeah. I'm just, I, that's one, I, trust me, I pay $20,000 permit fees, and the guy comes to the job three times. Yeah. And you have no idea how much you, how bad you feel raped. Yeah. So whenever people in towns do that to people, it's it gets under my skin. That's yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, <coughs> aside from the residential variants, Chris, you you yeah, I'm good with that. Good with that. Good, yeah. I okay. wish there was and honestly, I wish there was a way that like on something like this, you could jack it up even more than five hundred bucks. Right. Mm. I mean, you, but how do you know? You know, I mean. Well, we couldn't just audit at the end, just you know. Yeah. Well, I, I think if, I think if there are five hundred bucks and you lost. Yeah. I, think, <laughs> I think if there are extraordinary costs, we do have the power to ask them for more money. Not necessarily on a fee, but like as we go, you know, this is an expense. Yeah. As we go along, I think we can do that. I th yeah. Yeah, like a third party, right? They right, pay for that uh, third right. party. It is a thought. Uh, I mean, over the next year, yeah. Tamika, if you know, you were able to kind of track sure. the cost on some of these bigger ones to get an idea that, you know, you know, the residential ones, like you said, where they're in and out mostly pretty quick and easy and done. But if we're doing any more of these commercial ones to kind of get an idea of what it's costing us in time wise. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean so go with this, that's a great point. Just go with this and then just kind of tweak it. No, if, if we yeah, see yeah, like if, you're, if, you're if right. we feel like we're beating up a bunch of people coming in for sheds. Tweak it. You know, we can revise it, no yeah. question. Yeah. All right, so uh, so every everybody has a copy of this my my informal draft proposed ZBA fee schedule, uh, which you know. So I put I put draft and proposed in there just so everyone would know. Hey, this is just a proposal. All right. So do we do we need a motion to to adopt the to fees on this here? to the to recommend this to the select board? Is that what we're doing? No, you guys have the ability to do yeah. that. So you would just make a motion to approve as presented. Yeah, to adopt. We'll make a motion to accept. The fee schedule Rick presented as, as, uh, as stated there. Second. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. Great. So the, the next item are the electronic signatures, and um, I, I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. I was just saying I. I thought we were voting on that. Okay. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 sorry. Um, the electronic signatures, uh, I, I'm i not exactly sure. Do we just need an informal vote to say that we are going to implement this? Did you, did you and Chris get that email I sent you with the attachment on yep. it? I so there's two specific votes that yeah. have to be taken as okay. written on that paper. Delegation of signature authority and yes. electronic signatures. Correct. So okay. we already voted on it. 
No, yeah. I just created oh, 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 an okay. example so that if we moved forward, you would have the language and then we could use that okay. document. Oh, okay. All right, so I think we're all for this. And my only thing was, let's just follow the proper procedure, and I think that's already been laid out for us. Yes, because yeah. um, KP Law, I sent you the info from KP Law on it. Um, yeah. The commission's, uh, CONCOM's been doing it for a year now, and it's been working really well. Okay. It's been really good for people. And I noticed when I was reviewing the bylaw um, that something I'd forgotten was that we have to have the signed decision clocked in with the town clerk within 14 days. And I know that sometimes we've had trouble with that just right. because everyone's trying to get in. Right. So I think that'll ensure, too, that we're remaining compliant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we need we need to vote on the delegation of signature authority. Do I do should I read this? Yeah, whoever makes the motion, it has to be exactly on. Zone. All right, let, let me just read this real quick. Uh, actually, whoever make makes the motion. motion. Oh, whoever makes the motion. So, so, yeah. Yeah. so make the motion. All right, right somebody would, would somebody like no no would somebody like to make the motion? You got do you need it? Give it to Chris. He's closer. All right. <laughs> Chris, uh, you got okay. yeah. So we make a motion for the delegation of signature authority. Um, move that the. Rutland Zoning Board of Appeals authorize Administrative Assistant Tamika Murphy to physically sign on behalf of the board when so directed by vote of the board documents issued by the board under the zoning enforcement bylaws of the town of Rutland, including but not limited to decisions on applications for variance and applications for special permits. Any Our discussion? Second. second. Okay, uh, second it. Yep. Okay. All right. In Chris asked for discussion. All right. I don't so any discussion? I, no. No discussion. So all in favor? All in favor. Aye. 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 All opposed? All right. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll do the second one. Oh, I, don't, I think the uh, chair is not I'll make a motion. Yeah, yeah. I'll make a motion for the electronic signatures. Um, move that the Rutland Zoning Board of Appeals recognizes and accepts the provisions of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 110G, regarding electronic signatures for permitting and compliance documents and that its members will henceforth execute such documents either with electronic signatures or with wet ink signatures and that both will carry the same legal weight and effect. This statement applies to permitting and compliance documents issued by the board under the zoning enforcement bylaws of the town of Rutland including but not limited to decisions on applications for variance and applications for special permits. Do I have a second? Second. Yes, yeah, second. Yeah. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Yeah. Okay. Motion carries. Excellent. All right. You have, you want this or you have what you're on? Um, I, I have my own. So just the only other thing is um, there, there is a fee to file it or to record it. I believe it's $108. Okay. We do have money in our purchase services account that I can pay it from. Right. Um, and just so that you guys know, it will not be my physical signature on the decisions. It's just going to be a typed version of yours with a clause that says what book and page number this has been reported on. Okay. All right. Do we need to vote on that or are we good? No. Nope, that's it. It was just the two. All right. All right. We don't have to vote to spend the money, correct? No. Okay. All right. Very good. Yeah, we do, we do have, I think, we, yeah, Tamika's right. We do have enough money that was transferred over, so that works perfectly. Can we get an expense account now, too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just check it. Just check it. Oh, wow. That'd be really oh, okay. nice. All right. All right. All right. So what, Honda Odyssey? <laughs> That'll work for you? No, I don't. No minivan. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. Um, the um, minutes from the last meeting, which was November 10th, these were very extensive. Tamika, it looks like you spent a lot of time on this. These are very comprehensive. Yes, thank you. And uh, I perused them, and they, they look good. They look good to me. They do look good. Yeah, yeah they look yeah. good, good to me. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as presented. Second. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, we'll accept those. Any other correspondence or mail or anything else? No, Any no other problem. business? No other business. Okay, do we... Is there any other business we need to discuss? Then we maybe uh, need a certain motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right. Thank you.